All right, just before I pull the trigger on this and blow up this bloody building and give you all the explosions that I and you have been waiting for, couple of numbers I want to read out to you. There is 2,000 gas barrels in there, which equates to 1,200,000 units of individual gas cans, which could have fueled a whole lot of minibox, I'll tell you that. Every placeable surface in that building is covered with a gas barrel. All the bathrooms are filled to the brim with gas barrels. Both staircases are filled both underneath and on top of. 55 minutes has been spent placing every barrel. One game has crashed and two very sweaty palms. Oh, boom! Yes! Oh my god! G'day, guys. My name's Josh. You can call me Jean Woodle and welcome back to Seven Days to Die once again. I'm back in my little cave, in my little underground base. God, I love this place so much because I have some great plans. And my great plans involve this secret little chest over here that you may have seen uh, a couple episodes ago. Because in this secret little chest over here is about as much gas as I could possibly get my hands on. I spent the last, what day, what, what day 60? Or well, day 61 even. I spent the last, like, maybe, like, 40 days. Uh, anytime I found gas, storing it away because I had big plans. Oh, actually, I don't, I don't need this gas. Put that, put that away. I don't need that. I need this gas. I need all the gas barrels. And I think I've still got a cut. Yeah, I've got a couple of them as well. There we go. I have, what's that? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Just over 3,000 gas barrels. Uh, because I am going to go to Dishong Tower and blow the fucker up. I've decided that it is time for a demolition crew to roll in and start destroying shit. So I'm going to go to this Shong Tower, plant as much barrels as I can, take out all the supports, and hope for level the building. And uh, I'm hoping it all goes smoothly. I, d I don't know. My plans never really work out as well as I hope, but hopefully this one does. Mini bike, let's do it. Oh, oh, oh my god, yes. There is a zombie right here. I ne I've been dying for a chance to test out my base entrance. Come on, darling. Come on, you're going to get blended and shot with shotguns. It's going to be great. I haven't tested out the, the garage door uh, defense mechanisms yet. So this is going to be how I'm going to do it. Come on, come straight down here. Everything will be fine. Come on, you're so close. You're so close. There we go. Dropping the blades. Oh my god. Get absolutely shit on. That was amazing. Oh, I loved that. That was that was spectacular. I had a great time. All right, did you have a good time, darling? Did you enjoy? Oh, you broke. All right. It did a, the shotguns did a little bit of damage to my to my concrete, which isn't great. But did you have a good time? I had a good time. You see how they don't attack me? Oh, it's a great base defense. All right, that's enough distraction. Let's go blow up a building. Here it is. I've got a good feeling about this. I feel like this is going to go well for me. At least I hope it's going to go well for me. Oh, it's going to be so satisfying. If this comes down how I hope it's going to come down, I'm going to be one happy little boy. But the first thing I've got to do is, uh, oh, I'm actually going to kill this guy. No, yeah, okay, I'm going to kill this guy because he's coming my way. Uh, I have to go in and clean out the whole area because otherwise, the last thing I need is to be halfway through planting all the, all the fucking barrels and then some bullshit zombie smacks one and blows up the entire tower with me inside it. That would be a bad time to say the least. So I'm going to have to go through and clear the first floor and make sure there's no zombie is waiting to just like fuck my shit up and then I can get to planning. Hello? Is it safe? There's just, there's just zombies everywhere in here. It's gonna be a bad time. It's probably gonna be like a cop or something in here too. It's just, ah, oh, seriously? You fucking arm caught the arrow. Are you dead? Are you dead now? I don't know. Uh, there we go. Now you're dead. I right, close the door. Don't let anyone else in. Let's clear this joint. Whoa, holy shit. What's happened here? The zombies like tunneled his way out of the skyscraper. That's like, that's a whole lot of concrete that dude's beaten down. All right, well I can't, I can't have an open hole just hanging out here uh, for anyone just to wander in. And because uh, if a zombie can come in from outside, I need to make like f uh, let's go four of those. If a zombie can just wander in from outside, he can come in and he can ruin my day by well basically just like just smacking one of the gas barrels, and then I'll be very very upset. Do I did I bring a hammer? Did I bring any sort of building tool? No. Ugh, Josh. Freaking idiot. Uh, stone axe. Stone axe is the way to go in all situations, but I don't. I can't make that because I have no stones. Ah! Uh, fortunately for me, there was just a bunch of sto uh, uh, stones just outside, so I just needed to leave the front door and I had my axe again. Oh, shit. I didn't need to make it inside. There we go. All right. Let's go patch up this hole and get planting. I'm excited for this. So I guess the best place to start is just like at the front entrance. I mean, I don't see any reason to go anywhere else. Just like go through here and place a bunch of gas barrels. So now, now there is like a risk involved. If one of these things gets sets off, 
gets set off, that's what I'm looking for, then I die, is essentially how that works. I lose all of my progress, all of my hard work, it will be tucked away into a little backpack amongst the ruins and crater that these things will leave. I have no idea what's going to happen. This might just like fizzle out, this might be a massive explosion, it might break my computer, it's probably going to break my computer. But either way, I just like big bangs and this is going to be good. Alright, I'm not going to lie, I'm starting to get a bit nervous. This is only, like I've only done what, two little, like, quadrants of the building, and I've already gone through a whole lot of gas barrels, and it's already 12 o'clock. This is gonna take me, like, three days to plant all these fucking bombs. God damn, this is gonna take me forever. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. The greater good in this case being everyone else gets to watch a building explode. You are welcome. Oh, there it is. That is the first 500 stack of barrels down. Every bathroom has a barrel. Every floor space has a barrel. This is going to take a very long time. I hope I, do I have, I, I should have enough barrels. Surely I've got enough barrels. I, I took like three and a half thousand. There's no way I'm going to run out of these things. Let's hope not. If I do, I'll be pretty upset. There we go. Another 500 barrels are down. I have two sides of the building completely covered with barrels. That one over there, and this one over here. I'm even putting it under the stairwells and stuff. Every every surface I can put a barrel on is getting a barrel. I don't want anything left of this building. I want the entire thing blown to smithereens. God, staying on barrels is probably not a great idea. Come on, just finish up this room. And we're getting out of here. There you go. Wait, wait, where, where did I put that one? Ow, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, god damn. I just don't want to do anything wrong at this point. Don't do anything wrong at all. Don't want to take any risks. Oh my god, I can hear a zombie out there somewhere. <gasps> oh, please, please everyone just walk by and don't- Oh my god. They're beating on something. Oh, this could be bad. This could be the end of everything. I've got, like, not a lot of time. I can't- I might- I can't- Can I get out there? Can I even get outside? I don't think I can get outside anymore. I've- I've- Beat, I've like locked myself in a fucking skyscraper full of barrels and there's zombies outside trying to beat down the walls. Oh, that's a bad time. Please don't come inside. All right, I think they're gone. I think, I think I got away with it. All right, let's just, uh, let's just keep going. Let's just keep building. Let's just not try to ignore the fact that at any moment a zombie could murder me and all of my ambitions. Like if, they, if it explodes now, that's like, what, a 1,500 gas barrels that I've put down so far. Not only would it, would it kill me and ruin all my plans, but it would also set me back so far in all the work I've done to get that 1,500 bar uh, 1, barrels. That's a whole lot of time and effort. Don't do that to me. It's coming up to 10 p.m., which means the zombies are about to get a whole lot meaner, but I can't go home. I can't go back to my base. I need, I need to stop before I block myself in again. I can't go back to my base because if I go back, then uh, zombies might spawn in the tower again, which means that I might have a very, very serious problem on my hands. So not going back home, going to stay here. Is this another piece of glass? What? Yes, there's more glass here. All right, you're gonna stay here and hope for the best and just like I might even just stay in this little cubicle. This seems nice. I can hold out here for the day and hope to God no one finds me. But I need to wait till the next morning to keep on building. 3.59, it's basically 4 a.m. Well, there's 4 a.m. There's the sound of me and everything is okay. I survived the night. Nothing untoward happened. We're all okay. We can keep building my little project. Everything's going fine. I'm excited. We're getting to the end of it now. I've only got like the last little quarter of this building left and then we're done. Oh, we're so close to explosion time. Damn it. I was really hoping there was a cavity inside this. This is just one big piece of concrete here. This whole, like, this stair set here is just concrete for days. So there's not a whole lot I can really do about that. I mean, I'm going to put it in that, in that cavity I just made. I'll fill that up with gasoline as well. But, like, I don't, I don't know how successful I'm going to be in blowing this particular part up, given I can't put as many gas barrels down as I wanted to. I don't know. I'll put them up on the stairs. There's gas barrels up on the stairs as well, so hopefully that does enough. I, I just needed to separate it from like the, the the ceiling and the walls. That's all I need to do. Just separate it from the structure and we'll be fine. Holy crap, we're down to the last few barrels. Oh, there we go. Put you up. Oh, shit, I put that in the wrong place. No, I didn't. It's okay. There we go. We're done. The entire first floor of this giant freaking building is covered in gas cans. Oh, that took a long time. That took such a long time. I've got a whole bunch left. I've got 34 left um, and another 1,255. Uh, even more than actually, I've got some over here as well. Um, I've got yeah, that's that's a that's a fuckload of barrels. Good God, God damn! Do you know what's terrifying? Having to run out of this building with a billion barrels under your feet. Like I'm really, really tempting fate here. I can only run through the centers of it because it's the only place where I don't fall through the cracks. Oh, geez, almost did there. All right, where's the door? There's the door. Open. Uh, get this barrel out of the way so I can get out. There we go. Oh my God, what a fucking day this has been. Jesus Christ. All right, um, is there anything out here I need to do? Is is this all going to be good? I don't, 
I don't really know. That that should be fine. You know what? Let's just let's just leave the door open. We need somewhere to trigger all this and go over this big ass rock over here. And then we're gonna sort this out and blow up this freaking building. I just had the thought that because I don't actually want to have uh what like 34 barrels left over, I'm just gonna place a whole bunch of them just around here, everywhere I can, wherever, anywhere, whatever. I just need to get rid of the barrels. I just want I want an even 2,000 barrels in this building. I want this to be as big of an explosion as I can. I know I have another thousand barrels in my inventory, but like that's that's gonna, it's gonna take me way too long to put down. All right, everything's good, everything's gone. Yep, there we go. Lovely. I got my one barrel from the entryway. There we go. Put you there. There we go. The building now holds two thousand barrels. All right, just before I pull the trigger on this and blow up this bloody building and give you all the explosion that I and you have been waiting for, couple of numbers I want to read out to you. There is 2,000 gas barrels in there, which equates to 1,200,000 units of individual gas cans, which could have fueled a whole lot of mini bikes, I'll tell you that. Every placeable surface in that building is covered with a gas barrel. All the bathrooms are filled to the brim with gas barrels. Both staircases are filled both underneath and on top of. 55 minutes has been spent placing every barrel. One game has crashed and two very sweaty palms. That is a whole lot of work to get this building to hopefully fall over. And I guarantee you it's not going to work out anywhere near how I planned it to. So grab the sniper rifle, aim for the door. Can I, can I see inside? I can't, I, oh, I can just see the gas barrels. All right, here we go. 2,000 gas barrels blowing up Dishong Tower. This is the moment of truth. I'm sorry, game. This is going to hurt quite a lot. Please don't hate me for too long. <laughs> Oh, here we go! The game is chugging very hard. It is running at one frame a second. It is, in fact, it's not even running at that. There is shrapnel and building debris everywhere. Things are flying around. Everything is exploding. This is almost everything I hoped it would be. It is now running at zero frames per second, which kind of makes sense because it's taking like five seconds to render the next frame every single time. There is still debris all through the air. Nothing has really landed yet. A couple pieces of Johnny just the ground but there is basically just shrapnel and death and explosions everywhere it's like there's a lighting effect there because one of the barrels has exploded you can still see, see some of the barrels through the window god it is having a hard time doing this it's starting to get a bit better it's starting to figure itself out it's getting a little bit faster with the rendering are we are we oh yeah here we go it's slightly coming back things are moving things are landing is that is it okay are we okay what's what's the go what's what's going on i can move around a little bit now which is a good thing are we... Well, the building's still standing. That's kind of annoying. What the hell happened? Oh, no, here we go. It's starting to render it now. Things are disappearing. The world is disappearing underneath the tower. I shouldn't go closer, actually. Going closer was a bad idea. I don't want to get stuck making it render even more detailed than it has to right now. I can see things falling. Things are collapsing inside. Yes! All right, I'm going to risk it because I need to know. I need to know what's happening on the inside. There's still gas barrels in here, but I'm, I'm sure they would have blown up. It's just trying to render and figure out what, uh, like, uh, make them disappear. Yes, look, it's all crumbling down. Yes, come on, collapse all around me, please. Oh, this is satisfying. Just that noise of the crumbling building is making me so happy. Oh, I think I think it's worked for the most part. Although this, I mean, this is all rendered here and there's still like some of the support columns. Are the support columns still okay? No! Yeah, the building's still trying to like figure out what part of it still exists, what part of it doesn't. All these gas barrels aren't here. Like, I can't pick any of these up. See, they, they don't actually exist. It's just the building is loading, like, chunk by chunk. There, yeah, see, there you go. Slowly but surely, the building is disappearing, and I am loving it. So, while I did take out a pretty good chunk of this building, like, there was a hole going almost all the way to the top, and I basically just cut the building in half. Uh, I'm not happy that it's still standing. So, I've put the last thousand barrels that I had on all... Well, actually, let's, let's get rid of my fucking of my jacket, because I'm, I'm burning burning up into death. Uh, we'll put another thousand barrels down on all the supports. So that hopefully this time, there's a lot focused over there. So that's the main part of the building left. So hopefully this time, when I blow this place up again, I, uh, I won't have to worry about things still standing. The whole place will come down in a nice, good, tumbly fashion. It's gonna murder my computer again, but that's just the sacrifices you have to make. I'm not even gonna bother going all the way back to the rock. Let's just shoot it from here. Oh, boom! Yes! Oh my god! It's all coming down now. The Most of the support's gone, or at least the ground underneath. Importantly, I put it all on the ground there, so there's no nothing holding that up. 
It is coming down. It is coming down in droves. This is what I... Oh, it's even coming down the outside. This is everything I hoped it would be. There's still some blocks falling over there. I feel like this is going to take a long time for this to actually load that the building is destroyed. So I might just have to stand here for a very long time and just wait. I like that. I mean, I'm glad that my plan worked. So I'm just going to destroy this block here because I can't... Ah, uh, get out of here. Ah. Uh. Oh god, it's like it's like double laid. Keep going, keep going. I just want to destroy this block. I there we go. I have manually destroyed the building because I destroyed that last block myself. Oh, this is gonna take a long time. This is gonna take a long ass fucking time. Look at all the shit falling off it. That uh did quite a lot more damage than uh the last one did. Look at this. Oh, there's a zombie that's falling all the way down here. Are you are you dead? Are you dead now? So the zombies fall down as well as all the rubble. There's a bunch. Look at all the bodies down here. The bunch of zombies. I'm gonna grab it for me to running under an unsupported building, but like. Whatever. I don't think much is falling anymore. Look at the damage. I have wrecked this place. I mean, I kind of wish the whole building fell over, but uh, the seven days engine just can't. I don't think the physics engine can handle that much, like, loose debris. So, like, I don't. I, I don't know, but I've only got 271 barrels left of, like, the 3.2 thousand I had. Oh, that's good. That is a good time. I enjoyed that. Oh, hopefully over like the coming days of the, of seven days when I'm just like not around, it like won't load this back in as being a supporter building and it will slowly but surely crumble. Oh, I really hope that happens. You know what? Right there is about as good a screen to end on as any. You can see the destruction I have brought upon this tower. Oh, that is satisfying. That's a good... I like looking at the crater of my hard work. But I'm going to have to come back and probably blow up some more buildings in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.